what if we made you technicolor? Could we make you sort of all different colors that would be sort of rainbow-esque, kind of freakish from a distance? There we go. Okay, now, yeah, just random colors. This is what we're picking here. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more MMORPG Tycoon 2 Kitty Craft Online. Just checking out one of our new character classes here, the Glub. Effin here, a level 1 Glub, a walrusy folk, we feel, and our brand new player character class. Ernest Foster, you have chosen to be one of the Glubs. Good job, Ernest. Now, we're trying to get a 100 players to level 3. That's not going to happen anytime soon, and we're certainly not getting 10,000 subscribers, but it just wouldn't be MMORPG Tycoon 2 if we didn't have yet another update to talk about. So, something has been added. Very, very cool. In the build Buildings. We've got new buildings. We have the new arid collection. So arid buildings, sort of a deserty kind of thing. Now that's unfortunate because I've created a realm of entirely ice. So, you know, desert doesn't really play over here. But it might. It might. What if? What if I took Winter Moon Highlands and made it slightly less icy than it used to be? So if I go to terrain, I have no idea how this is going to play out. This may look terrible, but what if I replaced the Mushroom Grove with a desert? How is that going to, to look? Oh, okay. All right. I might be able to work with this, especially... If I took some ice walls, yeah, what if we did one of my favorites here, the ice wall? Oh, is there new, I think there's new aridy kind of fencing going on there. I'll check that out in a little bit. But what if we did kind of an ice wall to separate the deserty region from the not deserty region? How about we did, no, go away and then put that sort of like this and this and over here, up to there, and over to there. What, what do I think about this? Do I like this? I do. Does it make any ecological sense? No. A climatologist would put this to shame, but we're going to have an ice region, and then we're having a desert region, and then we're having more ice. So what is this one down here? I don't think we've seen that before. Show me this. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, this is definitely going to have a home right here. This just makes complete sense. We're going to have a little deserty area. Again, no ecological sense there, but we're going to have a deserty area in the middle of the ice realm. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going to live here. I just know we're kind of rolling with it. And just give me a regular path to run through all of this. Just like this. Where's the path going to go? I don't know. You know what? Just tap out over there. I'll figure you out later. Um, that'll be fine. Yes, some cactus sitting in the ice. This this makes complete sense. This could not possibly make more sense. Nobody's going to be up here for ages. This is, this is a much higher level range than any of our players are going to cope with, but I'm putting it all together anyway, just because I want to see the new buildings. So arid. We've got an arid inn that could go, say, right there. And then show me, well, everything. Show me everything in Arid. Arid Tavern. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to put that guy. Where is your door? Uh, sort of up front like that. That could go right there. I feel like I'm basically building Tatooine here. And an Arid Shop. And what else could you show me? How about an Arid Blacksmith? Absolutely. The best blacksmiths I know are always Arid, I think. Put that guy right over there. This could be the shopping area over there. And then what else? A potion shop, right? Show me an... Oh, it's like a little tent. Oh, I like that one. That's cool. It's got a little bottle on top of it. Okay. Let, let, me, let me take a look at this here. There's not... It's a little barren, isn't it? Okay, back to work, Dave. Back to work. Get a... Uh, not a starting port point, a respawn point. Show me that in Arid. Oh, yeah, definitely Tatooine here. Oh, yeah, this could not be more Moss Eisley if I planned it. Okay, I thought the spooky landmark was my favorite landmark, but the arid landmark might be my favorite landmark. It's like a giant Egyptian obelisk. Love it. Uh, this is going to go right behind the respawn point like that. Okay, now what? 
Well, obviously, I've got to decorate the place, don't I? We can't just leave it like that. Now that these are all organized a little better, show me some more in a cactus. Yeah, like one there and one over here. And then give me some slightly different models here and here. Now, this is going to be a great... Oh, wow, those are way bigger than I thought. Was going to be a great place for these. Um, You know what? It's still going to be a great place for these. Show me that, but maybe a tiny little bit different... I don't even know what these are supposed to be, but we're putting a bunch of them down. Actually, some palm trees would sort of make sense around here a little bit. Kind of, I, I should really do the decorations before I put the walls up, but I'm very excited about walls because they're very, very exciting. Uh, how about one up there? Okay, we can squeeze a few in outside the property, so to speak. So put those guys up there, and then could I just maybe get one? Just just one right in there 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 it is there it is there it is okay now go to well my other stuff basically let's get some basic structures anything new in um PS anything new in the uh modular buildings anything arid there no no pretty much the same old stuff there uh this should probably be these sort of outposty things then that would seem to make a degree of sense put one there one there and one there and then I'll block you out a little bit and let's get a few other things to kind of flesh the place out a little bit. I'd love to get one of these right at the opening of the town. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here if I can get away with it. So one there and one there. Okay. So far, so good. Little, I'm going to say oasis, but it's a desert and it's ice at the same time. I'm not, oh, I got to put more of these up there. That makes sense. Yeah, put those up there. Don't know why. Putting them up there anyway. Obviously some kind of well. You're in the desert. You're going to want to have some sort of water, I believe. And then what else could we put around here? How about just some stuff? How about uh, one of these guys, little lamppost thing, was right there. And then these. These look deserty. It looks like you should have a few of these. And nothing says desert like boxes and crates. I tell you what, the last time I was in the desert, all boxes all day long. So let's get a bunch of these in here. Uh, maybe a barrel or two. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We got to have the, the skeleton things. Yeah, that makes total sense for a desert. Absolutely. Big skull over here, half buried in the sand. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, now what? Now what do I do? Well, we are sitting on a couple of new monsters that we could put together. We are sitting on two, in fact, two unlocked monsters that we've done nothing with yet. So probably about time to make something deserty, I guess. Now, once again, we've opened with Crocodile because we traditionally do that. Anything in here that I... Oh, I don't think I've seen you before. I don't think I've messed around with that head at all. I was kind of thinking Rhino. And Rhino is good, but this is great. Oh, we're definitely doing this. Let me just shrink that down a little bit so it makes a little bit more sense and then kind of move it. Ar there we go. It's making a little bit more sense there. It's kind of snake. Could be a turtle. Mostly snake. All right. What could we do maybe with your torso here? Ooh, anything else I haven't seen? Could we just do one big snake? That might be a thing to do. What if I made you a quadruped instead? Okay, so far so good. Can I actually just take off all of your arms and legs? I can. Maybe we're just doing a snake. I hadn't had a thought about that. I was definitely going to go for something humanoid, but this actually might make more sense. Show me your torso and let me mess around with that a little bit. That sounded better in my head than when it came out of my mouth. And it's not the torso that's the problem. It's the head that isn't quite... Nope, not forward. No, not up either. Okay, come back to me here. A little fidgety doing this without, well, arms and legs for a start. So if I wanted you to go up like... Nope, not up like that. I want you to be for there we go it was forward that's what i needed in there so forward that okay so far so good now i need to do the same thing with your tail so that was a forward all right getting better getting better all right so i've made a snake big deal dave big deal anyone can make a snake what are we doing with this to make it different well for a start we're giving you Tiny but terrifying Tyrannosaurus Rex arms and a different tail. Now, 
what could we put back in legs that would be tiny but terrifying? Actually, I'm not even sold on tiny. It doesn't have to be tiny. It could just be terrifying. Well, there's tiny but terrifying all over again. What if we did something... I feel I've done the the scorpion kind of legs before. I hate to repeat myself. Show me this. Again, tiny but terrifying. I see where I'm going with that. Show me this. Now, no, I don't know if I'm really feeling that. Maybe you don't have legs. Maybe it's just the tiny but terrifying Tyrannosaurus at Rex arms. That might be what I do. What if we made you Technicolor? Could we make you sort of all different colors that would be sort of rainbow-esque, kind of freakish from a distance? There we go. Okay, now, yeah, just random colors. This is what we're picking here. Just completely random colors as I go along. That one, don't even know what I'm picking. I'm just going to see what it looks like when I'm done. Uh, and that, no, that, any anything. There we go. That one, that one cannot be white. How about that's that one? Now what do you look like? Okay, well, I have achieved Technicolor. No, no denying that. I am kind of keen on the little tiny pink claws. I think those are adorable and they'll claw your eyes out. Yeah, I'm pretty good with Disco Snake. I'm not really sure what I'd do with it if it were charging at me. It's kind of terrifying and kind of adorable at the same time. I might want to pet it, but I'd be in mortal fear that it would bite my hand off. We should probably give you some basic abilities. Now, you're going to be mostly in a level four through seven area. I think probably bite and chomp. Those are fine. Those are absolutely fine. Um, let's give you another ability, though. How about this is, I'm going to say, the disco ball ability. Disco ball... What do you do? You've obviously got to be some kind of ranged attack. You could be from missile range. And maybe not an instant. Maybe this takes you a second to cast it. you got to get that disco ball swinging. And this could do what exactly? This would, this would drain something. I mean, if you're in a disco all night, this is going to... You know what this is going to do? This is going to drain your rage over time because you just can't be in a disco all night and be angry. That's not how discos work. Uh, so it's going to, it'll do one damage, it'll drain one range, wait, excuse me, one rage rather, over eight seconds. And obviously this is all geared to level one. When we bump this up, this all these numbers will change. But I'm basically okay with that. What if we made it, it was a little longer to cast. So it's not like completely, they could still spam it though. Two seconds to cast, but it lasts eight seconds. They can still keep that going. Ah, eh, well, you know, price you pay for being a warrior around here. Uh, show me, uh, well, first of all, apply that, because I often forget to hit apply, don't I, Dave? Yes, I do. Show me what that's going to look like. Okay, could we get something a little bit more disco in here? How about electric? Okay, better, better. That's definitely more disco. What does light look like? Meh, not quite as disco as I want. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire? <laughs> you see what I did there? Disco, Earth, Wind, and Fire? Can I put all of those in? All right. Uh, dark, what do you look like? No, I think we're going back to Electric. Um, that is definitely as disco as I can get it. And show me different paths. I almost never look at this. What does that look like? Oh, that's disco all day. Oh, I like that. What is Sky Beam? That's basically Death from Above. Yep, yep. And then Straight. No, give me the thing, the missile thing. Oh, yeah, that's fun. And how about this was, like, electric blue? Done. Disco ball. Now, your level 4 ability, I'm just going to keep this one simple. It's just a very, very simple missile attack. Instant cast does some damage. We're calling that the Studio 54. There was nothing simple about Studio 54, but I want everyone to know when they're attacking the Disco Snakes that it's all about Disco around here. So, yeah, you're going to do that. Apply that, please. And then I've got one more... Ability. Yeah, I'll give you your level 6 ability because, again, you're going to be in a level 4 through 7 zone. All right, show me the mechanics. Let's just take the damage right out. How about this does no damage? How about this does no damage at all? And this was, say, a... Just give you a damage over time. I like that. But instead of an instant, it's like a 3-second cast. So you you might be able to get in there and interrupt the disco snake. This is 
this is going to take you a while to do. I'm going to give it a decent cooldown too. I mean, the, the Disco Snake will probably be long dead by the time the cooldown happens. They're not long battles around here, but three second cast and a four second cooldown. I think that's moderately fair. Ooh, that's fun. Water Ballistic. Oh yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that. Okay, so it does damage over time, but it takes you a really, really long time to do. I'm trying to think what would... What in the disco world takes a long time, but you're probably going to do it anyway? And the answer, of course, is watching the movie Saturday Night Fever, which is not really a very good movie. Despite what people think, you're really just watching for the dance scenes, but you've got to get through the rest of the story to do it. So this is the Saturday Night Fever. Let's go ahead and apply that. Definitely does damage over time. You can't watch that one for too long without taking a few hits. All right, is my Disco Snake broadly ready to go? I'm going to give you a little bit more health. Why? I don't know. I'm just going to give you a little bit more health. I want you guys kicking around for longer. Okay, yeah, get the, uh, get the Disco Snakes rolling here. Let's put a few of you guys around here, like that. Okay, and maybe a few of you sort of over in here, like this. Okay, that is a lot of Disco Snakes in that area. Maybe we shave that down a little bit. How about it was light density? Okay, light density, and then what? Say, let's do the same thing over here. How about this one was also light density, thank you very much. Okay, put that in there. Now, these are level four right now. That's fine. How about we made them level five? Yeah, let's make these level five. This is a, you know, as you progress through the zone, it's a small zone, but it does get progressively harder as you go along. And these guys are also going to be level five. All right. Where are we at with that, by the way? We've got three players, or excuse me, 80 players at level three. I don't think we've got any level fours. I could check that, see what's going on. Nope, nobody at level four yet. That's pretty understandable. It's going to be a while before anyone gets in here. I do like the way this is kind of starting to come together, though. Uh, show me the uh, show me the Parkoscope Scorpidile zone down. Zone. Let's try that phrase one more time, shall we, Dave? Let's. The Parkoscorpidile zone. Not easy to say, but darn fun to play with. Okay, part scorpion, part crocodile, all comfy parka. And you guys are what, level four? Yeah, you're level four. All right. I think I might just go ahead and think about what other monster we could put around here. I haven't made a decision on that, but I am going to shave down the quantity. I'm actually going to take this down to minimal. There are a lot of Parkoscorpidiles around here, and I don't think that's particularly fair to our players. Not that I'm actually trying to be fair. I'm not. I want them all to die, um, but I want them to pay me for the privilege of doing so. Okay, 84 people at level 3. Honestly, at this point, I'd like to just get somebody into the level 4 zone before we do anything else with it. And you know what? Money is absolutely no object. I'm playing in sandbox mode. I don't care. This is just creative with KittyCraft Online. We're not trying to make money here. So I'm putting out a bunch of ads. Free game vouchers, magazine advertisements. I don't know who's still reading magazines, but if they do, they've got seven days left to get in on this. And uh, how about a website ad? Yes, 7,000. What do I care? I don't care. Somebody has just reached level four for the first time. Excellent. Are you going to come check out our level four zone? Got some quest givers ready to go over here. Let me take the speed down just a little bit so you're not Polaroiding around over there. Yeah, I got some quest givers ready to go. Could put down some other ones. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's put down... Uh, no, not a trainer, although I, I will get... I think I have trainers up in here, don't I? Do I actually, now that I say that out loud, do I have any level 4 abilities for anyone? Nope, not really. Okay, level 4 for a warrior. What could you do? Uh, you wait, show, me the, um, show me the things here. Show me the mechanics. Just a flat damage. Okay. I mean, that's nice. I think we could probably do better than that. How about, take that out. How about this one? You could do a damage over time. Yeah. One second. Uh, maybe not an instant cast. Maybe it takes you a second to cast this. You can just go up and make people bleed to death. Yeah, m melee range, definitely. Uh, show me the... Uh, that's okay. Uh, how about we did that in a different color, though, because this is basically a bleed. You're, you're doing bleed damage here, so that should be 
bright red. Uh, let's call that, when we're certainly not going to call it attack four, that's a very silly thing to call it. There we go, your bleed to death ability. Not that you should be bleeding to death, you're going to cause other people to bleed to death. That's kind of the point of that. Apply all of that. I'll put trainers down for you guys in a little bit. And then how about we did, uh, well, anyone else is really paladin. Okay, what do you have? You have nothing at level four. Apparently I was very uncreative in naming your attack three. This... Now this should be a little different. How about this was a heal? Well, here's a bunch of stuff you just missed. Yeah, so while I was changing around people's abilities, I also accidentally hit the key that stops the recording, and I didn't notice. So, largely for about the past 15 to 20 minutes, I've been sitting around talking to myself, and none of it got recorded. I'm used to the sitting around talking to myself thing. It's kind of the nature of this YouTube nonsense. However, I was rather bummed out that none of that got recorded at all. So, I've done some things. Uh, right, I've done some things. So you'll see down here, I'm going to have to get everyone back up to speed. The region's overloaded, so Brightstone's overloaded. And the game was very kind to point out to me, hey, why don't you create another area that services the same level? And I thought to myself, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Usually I don't listen to pop-ups, but this time I kind of did. So our level over here, Wintermoon Highlands, used to be a 4 through 7 zone. I have now taken this down to, I, I know subscribers are unable to join. I'll get in there in a sec. Hang on, just slow down. Slow down, MMORPG Tycoon 2. I just lost a whole chunk of recording. Let me get everyone up to speed, and then you can yell at me, all right? So now, now, this area is a level three through, 3 through 5 zone. So 3 through 5 is what's going on in here. We've taken that down a step. We've, we've let the level 3 folks come in here, and I've adjusted several of the monster zones to be level 3 instead of level 4. Not the Disco Snakes. Disco Snakes are high level. If you're going up against Disco Snakes, you take your life in your hands. Now, what is it that you want to tell me, MMORPG Tycoon 2? Ah, it's that we need another starting zone in an area that's not overloaded. That's unfortunate, MMORPG Tycoon 2, because this is our only level 1 zone. So if subscribers are unable to join, they can get in line and wait. KittyCraft Online is very, very popular, and people are going to have to wait to get in. Other things you missed. I kept fleshing out people's level 4 abilities to make sure that everyone will have a level 4 ability when they get in there. So the Paladin has a heal, and then I decided to give the Wizard a heal too, because why not? So the wizard has an I'm no cleric ability. It's a little bit of a heal over time for wizards. Wizards never get to heal themselves. It's very, very sad. And the gloves are, of course, already had a level four ability. We put that in there when I designed them. All right, now what? This level one zone is getting a little bit overloaded. Do I need to think about another level one zone and then put this back up to a level 4 through 7. So I could have like maybe two level 1 through 3 zones, and then they could both feed into the level 4 through 7 zone. I might just completely rework everything that I just reworked, because I'm dead set on having this be a higher level zone, but they're not going to get there because people can't get into the game because the level 1 zone, which is the only one that we have, is overloaded. Something to think about there, but that is probably an excellent place to call it on MMORPG Tycoon 2 for today. We've still got another monster we could unlock, still something left to design. Not done with just doing the Disco Snakes, we've got something else we can be doing. And I'm going to have to have a think about another level 1 through 3 zone. I think that's probably the best move. I did it the first time I did MMORPG Tycoon 2. We ran into the same problem, and that really did seem to help. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below about the best way to go on that. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I'm a grown man. I, I've seen these things before. I just usually have to go to really sketchy websites to see them. How is a duck going to eat a cabbage? A cabbage is a huge thing. A duck can't just pop a cabbage in its mouth. This is absurd. Do all the things, and then call me when you're done. We're going to scan people, so help me God, we're going to scan people. Okay, spray literally everything. Spray it again, and then burn the building to the ground, and then pulverize all the pieces, 
into tiny, tiny specks of dust and then burn the dust and then shoot it in a rocket into the sun. Are we done now?